Yeah. Okay, guys, though, on a more serious note, we got London. news yesterday that Mohurst is out for the season with a torn pectoral. <laughs> yeah. We knew Jed Wills was out for the season after undergoing arthroscopic knee surgery. We got that news right before the show broke. So we did a little digging. We looked up some free agent options, but I want to start with the defensive tackle position. I want to start with this. Jordan Elliott's still in concussion protocol. May or may not be cleared by Sunday. He's still TBD. We'll hear from Stefanski here shortly. We know Moe Hurst is out. We haven't seen Siaki Ika, their third-round pick, play yet this season. I had a big whoopsie earlier this year. We did our 32-32, and 32, and I had him in the top 32. Ooh, and he's played it. zero snaps this season, so big miss out of us. But Has he been a healthy scratch missing? every game? Yes. Healthy yes. scratch every game. <laughs> yeah. And they've, they've had a lot of depth on the defensive tackle position, so it, I don't look at it too critically as a knock on him. They've had the veterans they've brought in of all That's performed true. well. But is this the time we finally see Siaka Ika before we move to the offensive line? Is it Ika time? G. Bush. Of course it is. I'm talking <laughs> up in, in the earlier meeting. This is, this is what you got to do. Y'all, we talk about this cap and everything and all that good stuff. And, and, and y'all like to bring up that you got to hit on your picks. And this guy is a third, I believe third or fourth. Yeah, round it's not pick. like he's a sixth round pick. He's it's a third not, round pick. I mean, this guy, this, they brought him in. He has a run stopping body. He has a run stopping mentality. And it's time to see what he can do. Now, listen, he may not have the, the upside of a pass rusher like a Maurice Hurst or Shelby Harris, who's probably going to play a whole lot. But you can see him on stopping the run on those rundowns. And I'm interested in seeing what he got. Yes, this is the only dude I want to see. I don't want to see the Dominic Sue. I don't want to see Gerald McCoy. I want to see the dude that you drafted That's high right. in the third round, and I need to see him on the field just like you got Cedric Tillman on the field. Yeah, and by the way, uh, man, I lost my train of thought. While you think of it, there's always <laughs> a reason ahead. why my guys man. don't get on the field. It has to be. And I mean, usually the fans and the media don't know what that reason is because it's happening when practice is closed and only the coaches are watching. Mm-hmm. My fear, because I agree with you, you drafted this guy in a position where he should be getting meaningful yeah. reps as a rookie. And we haven't seen him, and that scares me. What is he looking yeah. like in practice that he can't even get a play? Jay, that was my point that I forgot. Mike said it's not a reflection on him. They got good guys. But as you said, he's a third-round pick. If he were showing them enough, He'd be they'd the get game. him in the mix. You bet. You wouldn't have a healthy scratch every game Pick if he was a fifth-round pick. Yeah. He's on the field plenty. It, it just it seems like the Browns are very stubborn when it comes to certain players, right? I, I thought Diabate played very well, and they still play fields. Come on, the preseason? It, when it, he put- yeah, he played very well. Uh, I thought that right now you got receivers going down. The kid uh, Watkins, I thought he played really well in preseason. We see him. It looks like they have a plan. I think he and was a time He, was, he was up. I think he got. Uh, Promoted to active roster like two weeks ago, but he didn't play. He didn't play, but yeah. he, he got promoted. I mean, shoot, I know, just, but think about it. If you can't get on the field at wide receiver when you got guys dropping the ball all yeah. over the place, and we're well, gonna have David Bell join us. Well, he was that's, late. that's more of an issue to uh, me uh, with uh, Tillman uh, taking so long right, to progress. We didn't even see David guys. Bell. We haven't no. even seen David Bell like that. I know. So I mean, uh, you'd think that if they're if he was flashing in practice, they, they would and the coaches yeah. were like, this this guy's stopping the run. He's right. he's. He's what we need. He would be in the game. So, again, I think that their minds may have changed a little bit in the time since they've drafted him. Right. And, you know, they do have other guys, but these other guys right. are falling down and they're getting hurt. Right. So, now is the time, to your point. Yeah. This is it. If we don't see him play right. and, and, and flash a little bit, what this is, is – I know it's still very, very early, but if you had to put your flag in, he's a hit or he's a miss as a draft pick where they took him – it's hard to make a case that he's been a hit. Is <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, we, it's not fair because yeah. we don't know. Yeah, but the it, coaches know. Do, does this, does Chicago run the ball well? What's they where they ranked? They in the are league? top four in the NFL in rushing yards. Well, in part, I don't care about rushing yards, Mike, because the quarterback. Well, he asked the question. I was just yeah, the Justin Fields. Is, they don't yeah. have they they that, don't have one really good running back. They use three different guys. Their leading rusher is Justin Fields, if that's getting consolation. Yeah, yeah. that's misleading because of Fields. Dante has some big games He's this all right. year. But, yeah, but let me ask you games. this, Tyvis. The only thing I'll say to defend the guy, I guess, is once the season starts, mm-hmm. you're not practicing with pads very often. So Ooh, how much can a defensive tackle show in practice? That's a good thought. Well, I, I mean, that's a very good thought. I mean, at this point... I mean, you got to see him in the preseason. I don't. He's not like he stood out to me in the preseason no. at all. 
I think that it's off the fact that you have guys, you have four good defensive tackles every week that was healthy and that was much more productive. Right. And I just think he kind of got lost in the shuffle. I think he was one of those guys that we don't need you until we need you. We're going to let you go out and go to practice, become a pro, learn how to train, learn some of these moves from these veterans. But right now we're going to keep you on ice right now because these guys are actually being productive in there. I think with him, Obviously, he was a big boy. I think he was like, what, 380 or something like that. 360. Yeah, something like that. So he has to learn how to play on the NFL level. I think that you can't just be big. Like, you got to have some pass rushing moves. You got to be able to you know bully what, though, somebody. To, to, to Bull's point, Bull, that's a, that's a terrific point. How the hell is he supposed to learn? When he can't practice his craft? That's, that's like once asking a, get, a baseball player oh, to get start. You get practices. Once a week. Uh, okay. Not the whole season, though. Okay, you but it's not the whole season. Twelve padded practice. Okay. So, right. So on <laughs> average, on average, it's once every six practices. It's not even once a week, and it's it's really hard. I mean, how in the hell is this guy supposed to learn his craft? Well, is, a, is it time that they re, re, they, they go back and they look at that nah. number of padded practices? No. Somebody on the show <laughs> said this week. No. It might, it might have been Tim Couch. No, I know you're saying that, but yeah. Tim, I believe it was Tim Couch. Tim said, said part of the injuries might be they're not hitting in practice. Right. Yeah. He said, no, no, it was Joe Thomas. Joe. Joe when Joe yeah, was yeah, on, Joe. he said, it just takes a certain number of hits to, and I love the way he phrased it, callous the body. Yeah. I agree with that. So how are you supposed to callous the body well, when you're hitting once every week and a half? Well, it's once every week. but It's not really once every it week. It is because you get 12 weeks and after 12, after right, 12 so games, no, but, it's over. But no, I'll show you why it's one and a half. It's 12 weeks, but it's how many weeks are there in the season? 18. Yes. Okay, so 12 divided by 18 is one and a half. So it's two every three but, weeks. But, but there, there, uh, there, pardon me, man. There are things Wiz. that you can do as a D lineman, right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It's, it's, his hands yeah, should be oh, really good. Like, All right, you play D line, so go ahead. Yeah, there, there's things, matter of fact, sometimes we didn't even work with helmets on. Like, so for him, Siaki Ika got power, Siaki Ika is strong. That's not changing. He can, he can come off the ball and fire out and knock people in the backfield. That's what he's good at, right? But. He has to work on his pass rush game. To work on your pass rush game, you, these guys don't be understanding it. Aaron Donald and Miles Garrett and all these dudes is good because what? Hands. They got hands and they got a whole team of people that's working on moves by themselves away yeah. from the facility. And he should be working rips, working pass rush. All he need is one move and one counter. See, and usually they won't play a guy like that because they only see him as a two down player right. tops. Are but we see, gonna, speaking of which, are we going to only see him on obvious rundowns? Probably. You think? Probably. Yeah, probably. and I'm but okay they, with that. He well, shouldn't be in when there they on drafted, obvious passing situations. When they drafted him, they said, because I sat there and I talked to, I talked to Andrew Berry and Kevin Stefanski. Shout out to the Browns Radio Network for allowing me to cover the draft. Uh, I sat there and talked to Kevin Stefanski and Hard Andrew Berry. <laughs> <laughs> Will you be quiet? <laughs> and, they were saying Time that the one, the, task news agency. The, the one thing that they liked about Ika is that they said, obviously, he was a big guy, but they said he does have a pretty decent pass rush. Uh, he does provide a decent pass rush. So on. he could be a hybrid. Yeah, then. so they could see him in the future, obviously, putting him in on all three downs. You know what? I, I, I think we got to give Andrew Barry the benefit of the doubt. Um, I, we've talked a lot about his picks. Like every GM, he's had some misses. He's had some hits. I think he plays the long game with his draft picks no, it's and not good. the short game. I mean, you look at Cedric Tillman. We were scratching our head going, why did you exactly? But now we're starting to see there's a plan for him. Right. He's getting more involved. Maybe his plan, he, excuse me, here was to bring in the reinforcements for year one mm -hmm. when they really, when there was a desperate need at that position, groom him slowly. It's not about year one. It's yeah. about the race, well, the Jay, marathon. That, that's what good teams do. I mean, that is what once you get do. to the point where you have good talent, you hope not to use rookies unless, they're, unless they force their way in. Yes. You hope not to use them and give them a chance to learn in year one. Totally. And then and then in year two, they're not as green as they would be when they play for the right. first time. So it's time. a time game. Yeah. You just have to wait yeah, and see. Yeah, yeah. But I do think that, you know, because yeah. of the injuries and because of the situation, 
be surprised if he didn't get yeah. some snaps. This and maybe week. he'll make some big plays. Who the hell knows? He'd love that. He probably yeah. will. I mean, he got enough dudes around him yeah. that he is not like he can't. He's, he will obviously be the number one one-on-one guy. And if you think about a player like him, he's been the best player wherever he's been. You know, sure. he was the he was a star in high school. He was a star in college. No. Now he's watched in street clothes for 13 weeks. Yeah. That hurts. I tell you what, G hit on something. I don't know. Did you say this on the show or after the show? But when you was like, teams need to get dudes like like Patrick Mahomes and all these guys got like seven dudes that they work with. Yeah, yeah. They do oh, need yeah, to do because that with Miles Garrett. Yeah, because yeah. It, at this point. You got to be a pro. Like, what makes these guys a pro is because of what they do outside of yeah. just in the building. I know, but yeah. they do have coaches and position coaches. I understand. But they have some but that, of it. But what I'm saying, that, you, from, from 7 in the morning. You guys morning, want a bigger infrastructure. From 7 in the morning. You, you meet and start at probably 7.45. Right. To 7.45 to about 3.30. Like, that's the window that coaches have with you. Right. After 3.30, what are you doing? That's right, the right. part. That's yeah. what's going to And that's on you. That's right? it. That's, that's what on the takes player. you from being just the guy to being a, the guy. So don't go back and play Xbox. Right. No. Go back go, and hire go, an individual yeah. position and coach. Even, and even, guys, you know, and listen, who would be a better expert on this than me? What are you eating to keep yourself in good shape? That, that matters. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you're eating people spend McDonald's mil- all the time. People spend but- millions of dollars a year. Like Russell Wilson pays a million dollars a year to take care of his body. I know Antonio Brown back in his prime, he was doing that. Doesn't like, Miles Garrett have his own chef? Miles Garrett got a own chef. He got to yeah. own everything. He got a sleep specialist. He got a he got a exercise physiologist that just stretches him, that gets his body in different positions. Yeah. Like Tyba said, it's what you're doing outside of that. Yeah. You can be good at your job. This is bare minimum. I'm gonna tell you right now. Bare minimum, right I'm here. Tell you right now. Tyvis Powell was a guy at 3:30 in the pros when I was a practice squad guy. I put, I turned that PlayStation on. The day I was, the, the day I was named a starter for that first week, mm. I didn't touch that game, but I played one of the best games of my life. So Shouldn't I know you have what had it took. Off before even I should have, but I didn't. <laughs> just, that's why you see. That's why I'm sitting here talking to you today. No. Yeah. That's and why so you see me talking to you today. That. So the older man mentality. We yeah. did a story yesterday on the five o'clock on Channel Three, and the story was that teens are 90% of teens in a survey responded that they are on YouTube almost constantly. Yeah. You okay? too? Yeah, you too. Oh, they learn? In a, in a related story, <laughs> high school test scores are at their lowest point in 40 years, and we are now 49th in the world. We are a dumb country. We're we are a very dumb, dumb country. And, yeah. and honestly, it's the distractions. It's the distraction. Even you admitted it. You yeah. know, when you were a place, when you were a starter, the PlayStation went away. Oh yeah, I was and you dem- found that you're. You, I knew everything, Jay. Sure, it was. I was calling now, out. Now, if you had to do it all over again, you probably would have burned your PlayStation yeah. the day you were signed to for an NFL sure. team. For sure, because it is a distraction. It is, and a lot of these young dudes. And that's pro- what they want to well, do. They, they want to the, spend eight hours a day on PlayStation. The problem is the person that I looked up to played the Xbox a lot. But the problem is he was a pro. He was an he was eight times all pro at this time. So <laughs> when, right. we, when we did games, so the message plan, to you was if he can do it and be an all pro, yeah, I can do it. That's what I thought. But I'm like, all now that I look back on it, I'm like, this man know the back the playbook like the back of his hand. He's been playing in the league for all these years. That man know everything that there is to know. He don't need to really watch tape. They know he knows the offensive coordinator. I text I. I text this guy when somebody else said it, and I know exactly what he's talking about because two Baltimore Ravens confirmed that when they played with him, too. He's like, do not do what he does. Do, yeah, yeah. And McNuggets, what other D tackles yeah. do we have? I'll tell you who the other D tackle options if it's not going to be Ika are. After I tell you that the NFL offers on FanDuel stay red hot year round, even as the temperatures drop outside of right now, new customers get $150 in bonus bets with any winning $5 money line bet. That's $150 bucks if your team wins. So if you've been thinking about joining FanDuel, there's no better time to get in on the action than right now. The app is easy to use, and there's a wide range of betting options, including spreads, player props, over-unders, and much, much more. So visit FanDuel.com slash UCSS to kick off the NFL season. FanDuel, an official partner of the NFL. Mike, before you list these guys, I know we're going to get to it, but like (coughs) we spent a lot of time on D-tackle here. I am much more concerned about the Browns. Offensive tackles. We're going tackles, offensive tackle after Then I am defensive, defensive tackle tackles. Options. I don't know if you guys de- agree. D tackles, that's, that's then offensive tackles. You wouldn't say that I got last you. year. So other no, defensive tackle options, and then Bull will talk about the offensive All right. guys. Sounds good. But the defensive tackle guys who I think yeah. are worth at least taking some sort of look at. Make a call to a guy like Indama King Sue. 
Then he played Michael Proctor's, Akeem Hicks. Him? Hell, at this point, G. Bush and Adam the Run stuff are out there as free agents. <laughs> Siaki Ika could plug the hole, then, oh. then Adam the Bull, Adam the I Run stuff as a nose guard in the NFL. I think he's at least worth a call. Maybe I'm a so ten day tryout. Adam the Run stuff. I I didn't even play in high school. You because did? Why? You know, I loved baseball, and I played baseball, and even though I quit before my senior year, which I've talked about in his biggest regret in life. <laughs> but um, I was I was in the meeting to join, like, unlike here, where you're kind of groomed <laughs> as, like, a third grader to play football. Right. That doesn't exist in New York. Yeah, no, it's different New York. Yeah. Way different. And there's no connection. It's different be- in the Northeast. That's right. There's no connection between the middle school and no. the high school. Here and, in and, Ohio, the right. high school coach speaks regularly with the junior high coach right. who speaks regularly with the biddy program coach. Yeah. Right. And there's an offense. There was yeah. none We're going to run the wing T and there they was all run none it. of that. We just yeah. played, like, we would have neighborhood teams. Like, my neighborhood had a team, and we'd play the other surrounding neighborhoods. And right. we played tackle football with no equipment. I probably had a million concussions. Who knows? <laughs> I played running back, believe it or not, because when we I were, like, it. 10, 12 years old. Who's bringing you down? I was huge. The, uh, and until we played a team that actually knew how to tackle, and then they kicked my ass. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but when we played the teams that couldn't tackle, they just they would try to... But the decision is made usually in seventh grade. Right, but then... To so do it or not. I didn't go to high school till the 10th grade, because my junior high was 7th, 8th, 9th. Wow. So I didn't go to high school in the 10th grade. I go to my high school in the 10th grade. We had a decent football program. We had one guy who played in Indiana, offensive line. I was joining the football team. I was in the first meeting. I was excited. I was like, I'm finally going to play football. Be organized, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and my mother really didn't want me to play. Mm. And she she wore me <laughs> down. And she's like, just stick with baseball. Blah, blah. And, I, and I was like, all right. And I, I, yeah. and I regret that, too. I wish I would have played high school football. Would yeah. you guys call Indama King Sue? Then we'll talk offensively. Sorry. Play. Didn't he any, play any issue with uh... – he played for Schwartz. Yeah. G yeah. loves Philly. I'm, this, thought, this surprises me because G loves veterans. I do. And I am shocked that you don't want him to call Especially the Sue. success we've had with two veterans. Yeah, yeah. why do you want to Who were on the couch? Sue, Sue didn't, did Sue play well with the Eagles last year when he nah, did? I, mean, I, don't don't think, I don't think he was an impact player, but he was more a rotational guy. I mean, they have how so they many used, guys. That's it. Yeah. He was just another fresh set of legs. Mm. I want, and, and that's how I they mean, keep everybody fresh. You want fresh. 10, 15 nah, plays a game from nah, him? Because I think, because like Jay said it, this dude has been the man. See, I can, you, you get drafted. You, you with the Browns, you got Jim Schwartz, you, Miles Garrett is on the other end. You get single blocked all the dog on time. When he, by the time Siaki E can get in this game, he's going to be on another level fired up. He's going to be motivated. He's how could you not be you motivated? You're a hypocrite. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Case to case. I'm gonna no, tell you why. why? Because here, just over the summer, right, we sitting here, we talking about DeAndre Hopkins. Yep. And one Garrett Bush looked right in that camera right there, and he said, you are the Cleveland Browns. You need everybody that you can get. We're there in no position I do to that. never say we don't need anybody. That's right. That's Hopkins right. would look good Fast right Fast forward a couple oh of weeks. Oh, my God, of would he look good. We Hopkins don't need, can still play the now game. We don't By the way, Dominican Sue can too. His PFF grade last year was a 65. Here's, we, here's, we don't need. Here's huh? what I'm saying. You got four D tackles, right? No. You got two guys hurt because Elliot's yeah, hurt Elliot's too. Out. So, so Elliot got a concussion, right? Yes. You got four D tackles, and the other one is uh, Hurst. He's done for the year? He's Hurst. done for the year. So Hurst is done for the year. Here's the, here's the issue you got. You drafted him high. You think he can play. Right. And here's the thing. I haven't seen he could get an opportunity to do his thing. You still need Watch another this. one, though. That's, you need four. But guess what? I've seen all the receivers do what they did. They've been here years. I've seen <laughs> you. That true? That's not true. At the time, Elijah at Moore the, was at, here. At the, time, at the time. It was Elijah Marquise and, and Amari and Sid. And, and guess what? And, and Bull told you Elijah Moore wasn't even that good. He told you that <laughs> early. Now, second you was on the same well, train with because me. Because you were you the see this? Y'all and see you this? told us, <laughs> Tyvis, you said it was a you, new game You fooled plan. us, Tyvis. It was your fault. You, you <laughs> put the Kool-Aid and gave it to me. Yeah. Tyvis came in here saying he's <laughs> the next T.O. No, 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 no. What I said was Deshaun. <laughs> all I said was Deshaun had a Tom Brady like practice. He said, uh, did. You said this Elijah Moore played. Listen, this going crazy. fourteen for fourteen in the second half is some Tom Brady like games, right? Man, you said I wasn't wrong. 
Elijah Moore got 16 <laughs> reverses for minus 90. He wasn't listening. <laughs> when I was there, so they was practicing the red zone that day. Like, the boy was a nightmare in the and red the, zone. The reason I said what I said about DeAndre Hopkins, and it still stands, how I've been, I've been vindicated. They had Anthony Schwartz. He's gone. David Bell, shout out to him. Hopefully he's on in a couple minutes. Uh, he hasn't shown me much. At the end of the day, he might get an opportunity to. Cedric Tillman just got on the field. Elijah Moore was not <laughs> doing nothing in, with the Jets, and we expect him to get 1,500. I did say he was going to get 1,400. Because <laughs> <laughs> of Tigers. Because He told me. He told Tybus. me 14. How and Amari in the world Cooper, is this my fault? And Amari like, Cooper <laughs> been stripped and the ball. I don't know what's going on with Ty, Amari. Is you having relationship issues? What's going on? <laughs> my, uh, By the way, Amari Cooper trying to become the first Browns pass catcher in the history of the franchise to have consecutive thousand yard seasons, which is disgusting. That's, you know I, 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 that's almost impossible to believe. In fact, the, old, in fact the only player since the 60s to even have more than one thousand yard season period is Ozzie Newsome who had a thousand two one year and then two years later had a thousand and he was a tight end. He was a tight end and Gary Barnage. Shout so, out to you, Gary you Barnage asked, had, had asked, a one thousand uh, yard season. How this is your fault. The man you know always has oh, Kool-Aid in his cup. You came and put a lot of sugar in it with the Kool-Aid. A bunch. He this loved, he you know loved this player. The yes. funniest and then thing you came in here saying he's going to be T.O. That's not, I didn't say yeah. that. That's Just not what about. I said. Just about. Boss. He the, was actually The funniest Boss. thing is <laughs> I had sent that text message to y'all about that practice. Yeah. And everybody, it's every media up. member, they second what I said. Yeah. It, it was yeah, the truth. They have the, the sharpest tools. You know what those guys are called in baseball? Five o'clock yeah. hitters. Yeah, oh that's right. God. Hey, guys, we got to talk about this for a minute. Tackles? Yeah, because we've talked a lot about defensive tackle, but for me, offensive tackle is a way bigger issue. I'm not that worried yeah. about defensive tackle because I got plenty of good defensive linemen. I don't have a single good offense, it's offensive an issue. tackle on this roster right now. Yeah. You're down to offensive tackles four and five. I think at the very least, we all agree <laughs> James Hudson is not very good. If I'm the Browns, I have to look at that veteran market Right. And I have to believe there's some – if what's his name? I can't even think of his name now. Can play at 41 years Jason old. Jason Peters. Peter, Jason yeah. Peters. Peter, every I know he's an all-time great. But you got some guys that have been good in the NFL here. All these guys. They especially they LeBron, what, what, what scares me – I agree with you. Yeah. I, I, what they have is not it. It's not going to be enough. Yeah. But here's what scares the hell out of me. It's Wednesday. They're not doing it this week. They're not doing it this, week. Doing doing it this week. So why would there suddenly be this urgent need – Next week, but this mean, game this week isn't important. Yeah, I, so I, they must think like they've said about the who receiver they, who room. We, play we like our receiver room. It's I just guess fine. the only thing that gives me a little hope is that they waited at least probably longer, but at least a week too long to sign Joe Flacco. Yes, and that has worked out. So maybe they're doing the same thing because maybe they're like, well, even if we sign Taylor Luan or or Lyle Collins, he's not going to start this week. So maybe if, if maybe they'll sign him tomorrow. I mean, they do have to add offensive line, but they've just lost two guys for the year. Yeah, but see if they push it to next Wednesday, then you can say, "Well, he's not going to start this week." Well, what I'm saying is maybe they'll <laughs> sign him late. Maybe they're doing tryouts today. I don't know. I'm somebody trying to hasn't heard anything. Somebody we tend to. It. I think somebody has to get hurt. I think that's did. how Joe Flacco don't got it. They do they tryouts on Fridays here. Well, they'll bring a player in whenever Actually, they need they to do bring a player. Sundays. Usually I mean, Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday is a good day to no, do it too because yeah. the facility's empty. No, they I do would, it on Sundays too because, like I told you, I, they had an away game and I walked in one day and they was like, "You here for the workout?" And I should have said yes. <laughs> <laughs> I should have said yes. Why would you tell the truth? I don't know. Listen, so I'm walking. I, so as you, y'all been to the Browns Philly, it's two yeah. entrances. This yeah. the the media one and then yeah. there's the players one. Sure. So I'm walking to go to the media one to go upstairs to do the the Browns radio. They said, no, 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 go that one. Yeah. I'm like, go to that one. I'm like, what is it, doing some construction? So I walk to the other one. I walk <laughs> in. They throw the, They get a waiver to me. They like, sign this waiver. They're like, you here for the workout, right? Oh, and I'm like, that would have been a great. At the I should have said, said yes. Now, how, I should have said now, yes. Well, yeah, they were working Wait a second. Somehow, we don't, don't have you on the list here. I'm I'm no, who do you have on the list? <laughs> Whoever they said, you're like, yeah, that's me. Remember me? that guy? You don't look 340 Remember pounds. that guy who was basically homeless? <laughs> Who, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Return yes. Return. yes. I do remember that. Yeah, something like that. Yes, he that's returned the kick or a punt for a touchdown oh, in preseason. He was wearing Odell's, Odell's cleats. He, wore, he gave him the cleats. Yeah, yeah. yeah. unreal. He's sleeping in his car. What happened now, to that he, guy? What, he out yeah, of here. Got, that was yeah. it. Yeah. The, the, well, how, what, how well do you think you would have did? Like, you, could you? Well, I think so. I, you know how you? It was a couple of guys sitting there, and when you look at them, I'm like, they look like they probably were running backs. It looked like they was the running backs at the time. I ain't played running back ever in my life, but you get, I think you I, I would have been in there junk. Now, that would have been a story. 
<laughs> Tyvis Powell, who never played running back, wasn't supposed to be involved in the workouts, but you I would have called y'all. I'm like, like hey, hey, Mikey, I ain't coming in today. I just like, got shot. Like, <laughs> what position? Running back. Henry, man, I huge. hope I get that call. You're big for a running back. That's true. He'd have been in there five minutes and said, this guy can't even take a handoff. What's wrong with him? No, I know how to catch a handoff now. Depending on what size you are on the Good, good job. 21. Twenty, but didn't you try C- out CFL? For, 21. Oh, that was twenty-one. Yeah, that's just not been that long. Yeah, two years. I was saying. Two as years. As far as the offensive linemen go, though, I know Bulls adamant about signing someone to bring him in. Yeah. Uh, right now, Alex Leatherwood's the third tackle, who's not currently on the squad. Are you guys and out by, on Alex? By the way, bad job out of me. I said he was drafted by the the Niners. He was actually drafted by the Raiders yesterday. I said the the Niners. But I don't want any, anything to do with that they guy. I want one of these veterans that's been good in the league. Yeah, give me someone that they has been proven tackle. at a high level. And we've got some names on that list. Yeah. They don't have another tackle like, ain't it like Wilson or something? Leroy Watson. Watson. Leroy yeah. Watson. <laughs> uh, here's the problem. So Leroy that, Watson. That we Leroy Jenkins. That we don't know his name <laughs> is kind of a yeah. problem. He sound, he sound like a choir director at a Baptist church. <laughs> All I know, Leroy Watson. All I know, Leroy Watson. And, and Mount Olive the choir. Baptist singers. Whoever. <laughs> All I know is James Hudson. It's going. He needs a buddy with him at all yeah. times. David Njoku and him should be best as a friend. But that negatively affects David Njoku. It does. Njoku. It does. Don't need but that. It David Njoku is your you, second most important pass. It's catcher. all about what you got to do to win this week. We'll I figure it, next week it might be different, but, but this week do, this do is you, what we got to do. Think, do you think <laughs> they're doing this because they're like, well, they may be they may be trash, but we still winning? Do you think that plays a, or play or a part in it? Because that's the only thing it I can shouldn't. think shouldn't. No, it shouldn't. You you have to look ahead yeah. to every. You know, and Kevin Stefanski says this: we're zero and zero. Right. Well, we, I think we, about you know, the what playoffs. we did last week is over. It doesn't I mean, matter. Think about the playoffs, guys. We all think the Browns have a very good chance to make the playoffs, right? I think they do. I do. Okay, in the playoffs, you're going to play better teams. Yes. You, yes. So I, I'm going to face good pass rushers. Like I don't know who I'm facing in the first round. I might face. I might have to face the Chiefs in the first round. But you know this: they're going to be upper crust teams. Exactly. So and you've got to you've got to get ready for now's this. the time. Yes. Get them in now. Yeah. Just like we were talking about early on the first Deshaun Watson injury, why aren't they calling Flacco? Exactly. Get him in the system. <laughs> this guy clearly might get might have a, a, a reoccurrence right. of the injury. Get him in the system. They waited a long time. It hasn't hurt them yet, but let me we'll see, see that list again of the tackles. Yeah, so who do you like? I, I, I said you got to pick one. Lyle Collins. Pick? I like Collins a, a lot. I also like. Is he the youngest? I like Taylor Lewan. He's thirty-two. Yeah, Lyle Collins is thirty. So I, I, I don't know about the other guys. What was the last? Who else time was on that played? list? Mike Eric Fisher. Eric Fisher, Jawan James, who was on the Ravens. He had a torn Achilles a couple of years ago. Hasn't been the same player, but he's a free agent. Greg, Greg Little was Little. a good player. How many years? Okay, so who's, Collins is thirty. The who's not thirty? Yeah. So, out of this, no, list, <laughs> out of this list, Big Nugget, who played the most recently? Jawan James was on a roster last year, as was. Oh, no, so was Lyle Collins. Collins was too. And Collins was yeah. Three of those guys. I, were just on go to Collins. Okay, year. so he's thirty years old. Think about think about it this way. When Joe Flacco was a rookie in the NFL, mm-hmm. Collins was in the ninth grade. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, if Joe Flacco can do it at 38, now I know that the That's offensive two, line you know, is a little a, different. Yeah. You're in the trenches. There's a lot of body banging. But Well, my problem, I got one problem with Collins. My only problem with Collins is the day he signed to Cincinnati, he called Joe Burrow and told him, you got a new bodyguard. You ain't got to worry about nothing. Yeah. Joe Burrow went on that season to be probably one of the most sacked quarterbacks in the league. Yeah, and he did not. And Collins, some of that's on Joe. Joe holds on to the ball a long time. Some of, Collins did not play well in the beginning of the season. He was bad. But as the year went along, he played better. Uh, and by the end of the year, he was playing decent football. Again, you're not getting anybody great at this point. What was his injury? <laughs> I don't remember now. <laughs> was it a pick? Yeah, you know what it is. Yeah, here's what it is, guys. Yeah. You've you've got a budget for a, for, you got no money, but you just yeah. got a job. You need a car. You, you're not gonna go get a loan for a seventy five thousand dollar car. No, you. No. You're in the like the four or five thousand dollar range because that's a, all you can you afford. Need a serviceable that's the, that, so you I need a serviceable time. You need a serviceable guy that can get you to your job. He's better than James Hudson. I know J. that. JD by Rider. I need that. I would hope. <laughs> Buy here, pay here. You're gonna go to JD by Rider and get the general. That's the package. <laughs> and it's liability. And it's forty two percent interest. It's seventy five percent interest. And you gotta they say they sign you up for student loans too. <laughs> Y'all know Andrew Barry. They're getting to, all them hooks into you. You know A B trying to roll that money over the next season. Y'all cutting into the funds. Hey, you know what? I'll worry about next season next season. 
because just, you're 13 steps in well, a 17 are you, step are you process. Get, wait a minute, so, and you're at the front of the race. You're you near get, the front of the race. Are you guaranteeing that I'm you, I'm gonna see next season? No guarantee in sports. I guarantee you this. If I'm Andrew, if I'm saying you right now yeah. are Jimmy Haslam and I'm Andrew Barry, are you telling oh, dude, me? Well, you gotta make me. Jimmy are you Haslam. telling me that I'm I will get a chance to be here next season? I will be here next year. So no. I don't, why not? No, why not? I'm guaranteeing you a job right now. <laughs> you want is, it? Earn it. And it, that is why it is contradictory for general managers <laughs> to do things for three years in, a, in the future when they are interested in keeping a job today. You're in the moment. So it's you, just like so you would do what the Rams do, just trade the picks. Well, I've been, you know me. We 